You're on Letterboxd. I am. What you're seeing on Letterboxd are those films that inspire me. The list that I put together, tonight's recommended viewing, people are always asking me movies that they'd like recommended and movies that have inspired me. Those are those movies. I, it's hard for me to pick a favorite movie. It evolves and changes all the time. There's just movies I really love. I was wondering if might be able to do something where I could shuffle that list and toss out um, one of the films that are on it and you could maybe say why people should watch that movie tonight. Sure. Okay, so um, doing that now. Oh, actually, John Sayles' Lone Star. Why should that be tonight's viewing? Uh, Lone Star, it, it, it's, it's one of those movies that, uh, that you don't really hear talked about. It's a phenomenal mystery. It's a great character story, a great character study. And it's a really excellent haunting story about the past and about how the past comes back to haunt us. And it's a very early performance by Matthew McConaughey, very early in his career. Chris Cooper is absolutely sensational in it and it has an excellent twist ending. It's really worth watching. Yeah, I, I love John Sayles. Um, and he actually, he made my favorite coming of age movie probably, which is Baby It's You. Um, I've never was, seen that. I'm gonna have to watch that. I have to... Oh, it's great. Do you look to silent films as well? Because uh, when I'm watching the, the mission films, I kind of, you, you know, you can see the, the fingerprints of like Harold Lloyd or Buster Keaton and things like that. You have hit the nail on the head. We start every single one of these movies going back to Harold Lloyd, Buster Keaton, Charlie Chaplin. And we look at uh, Safety Last, Sherlock Jr., City Lights, Modern Times, uh, The General is the big one. And I th if you watch The General, you'll see that its influence on this movie in particular is, is absolutely evident. The fact that it's a hundred years old and it's still regarded as one of the greatest films ever made is, uh, uh, that's, that's, that's another one that's high on the list of tonight's recommended viewing. When you make a new movie and go back and watch those movies again, having applied everything that you've learned, you look at that film in a completely new way. So it could be a film you've watched several times. Uh, John Frankenheimer's The Train is another movie that we studied extensively. I don't know how on earth they ever made that movie. It's truly an extraordinary achievement. Having now done a train sequence, I, 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 if you handed me that script, I would have run screaming. It's, it's incredible what they pulled off in that era with that technology. It's all practical, it has no CGI, and there's multiple train wrecks in that. It's the original Mission Impossible. It's really an incredible movie. What it's evolved into uh, since Fallout, because Fallout was my first time returning, Tom said right off the bat, what do you want to do? What's something you want to do in a movie that you haven't done before? I said I wanted to tell a more emotional Mission Impossible based on what we had discovered making Rogue Nation. Uh, Tom wanted to tie up the story of Julia. And so those two ideas merged and that, that really was the impetus for Fallout. Tom always wanted to do a halo jump. I always wanted to shoot a scene in Paris. I was really excited to go and shoot in Paris. And so those, those things evolved out of that. With this one, when he said, what do you want to do? I went in the complete opposite direction and said, I want to wreck a train. What do you want to do? He said, I want to drive a motorcycle off a cliff. So on Fallout, we started with these very emotional ideas and discovered the action. On this, we started with the action and then really discovered these emotional ideas. The other thing was we had very specific casting that we were interested in. We'd been talking to Haley Atwell for the better part of 10 years. And we were always looking for just the right thing to showcase what we felt was a very, very specific nuanced talent that really only Haley has. And that, that was the secret ingredient dropped into all of this other action, was the cast. All of the new cast, all the returning cast, the characters are really what make the action work. I wouldn't know if there was a specific director or film that really opened my eyes to that. I just know that I've always been extremely focused on the audience's experience. I'd say the single most educational experience I ever had was working at a movie theater as a security guard for years. And my job working in that movie theater was to stand in the back of the audience and make sure fights didn't break out. It was a pretty rough neighborhood. So for four years that I was working in that theater, I was watching the audience while they were watching movies. And that was my film school. It really helped to draw my sense of a connection to 
how the audience was connecting to the movie. They were very vocal and you could just feel it. You could feel when the movie was working and when it wasn't. And it helped me to develop an innate sense of how the audience is responding to what it is I'm trying to do. And what Tom and I talk about all the time in making movies is the real magic comes from being able to step outside of yourself and be the audience. I don't assume that you're feeling what I want you to feel. I have to be able to step back from it and look at it and say, if I was not making this movie, what effect did I really create? And you, as a result, you develop a sense of when you're losing track of it, when you need to be reminded with things. I've, I have a kind of a spidey sense of, I haven't checked in with that thing in a while. So those little cutaways, those little inserts that seem very incidental, a lot of time and effort goes into every single one of them. They're, they're sometimes some of the most difficult things to shoot. Thank you so much uh, for all this and for being on Letterboxd and for My giving pleasure. us My pleasure. My pleasure. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a great community.